everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome hey to guys. all my co-hosts today, and Hello. welcome everybody in the chat. So glad to have you. Who is exhausted? Anybody tired yet? <laughs> this is the midnight <laughs> man. Is not tired. Of course, I'm everybody not exhausted. So, of course, everybody on the Western Hemisphere is exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, and keep in mind, this is Midnight Madness. This is the last one for the April fun. This is it. So no tough questions like we've had before. These are going to be the silly question night. And oh, we've okay. got them broken up into a couple different categories. One will be Thon related and one will be Bio Builders related. And we're going to get answers from the co-hosts here and from you guys as well in the chat. So thanks, everybody, for being here watching us live, if you're watching us live. And if you're watching us after the fact, thanks for being here and having fun after the fact with some of our silliness. First things first, let me go ahead and queue up the word that everybody needs to type. And there's a special reason why this is the word. Bingo is the word bingo. And you know david and i bingo, host bingo, bingo bingo once a month the first friday of the month with historical notables but we are bringing back also a new one on the first day of the month and i will be hosting with a surprise co-host every month and that surprise co-host will be the owner of a space page so if you have a really fantastic awesome space page or something interesting this could be anything except we're not talking about one place studies one name studies anything like that something you created um reach out to me let me know you could be a guest along with your space page on the first friday of the month so there'll be two bingos that we do and there will be a total of four prizes every month at that bingo and i think that's the only way you can win a prize that's not during the thon on wiki tree if memory starts so Thank you guys for being here. Type in bingo. It doesn't have to be capitalized. It can be in any way possible. And Darren, why don't we do the business part first and talk stats. And then we'll get to the questions that we have. Okay, Darren, you want to do by division, right? Yeah, by division. And um, Oops. Sorry. Starting. Going to do the top and bottom teams in each division. Okay. So for Division One, got Team Italy. It's done 200, 875 profiles. Then Banyan Tree has done 128 profiles. Mm -hmm. So and we have two Team Italy members here. Yes. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> and then yep, Division so, Two. Yep. So we're Division Two. We've got Germany Genies, done 4,785. And then the North, North Easters have done 595. And then um, coming up to Division Three, the ones with the most members in their team. Yep. Well, we've got Appalachia Roots, of course, 16,161. Why is Greg not here for that number? Because what is that, a palindrome or something like that? It, and I <laughs> mentioned too that we are trying to be our record for last thon, and we will probably beat it. Yeah, and then of course, the, the bottom team in Division 3 is the new B team, 973, which is pretty good for, for new newbies. I agree. I think that's really awesome. And then we have a total. Let me refresh as well. We have a total of, it looks like it's still going to stick, 80,433. And Chris, you and I were talking about this. I think it was 98,000 and some change last yeah. on. So what I'm do you guys think? Quick. Can we do it? Can we get there? Uh, I've got uh, the last. Hotels. Yeah, the last. Yeah. The last time we had uh, almost 100,000, we had 98,937 last time. So, we, so what do you guys think? That? Can we do it? Can we do it? Probably. I don't know. It depends. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Vicky. I'm not sure. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. 
And keep in mind, this goes all the way till 8 a.m. East Coast time. So New York time, or if you're in Atlanta, Atlanta time, it goes all the way to the end. And my experience with these bronze, the last two hours is a wild race of entering in as many profiles as possible. You still have some crazy Americans um, awake doing things and then or waking up and you still have the Europeans and you have around the globe that are still doing it. So the last two hours, I have seen numbers change, teams change places. So keep that in mind. It's not over until it's over. And then at the 8 a.m. hangout, You'll have a large group of people, but also Alesh will be there to explain everything that happened and went on as we go. Mm -hmm. So thanks, um, Darren, for doing that. And I'm glad you picked the divisions again, because for those of you that might be new to Athon, Wikitree actually put teams in division based on size to make it more fair. So the person, the team that is in first place for division one, Team Italy, they have 2875, so that way they do not have to capture as many profiles as Team Appalachia do. Yeah, win yes. Surprise. You guys, you guys in Appalachia set the the uh, gold standard. That's why we cracked the whip. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> we tend yeah. not to sleep. It's really strange. We just tend not to sleep. And so That's I want to ask everybody too. While we're here, let me go ahead and take the stats out. For those of you here on camera and those of you on chat, how many of you use your Discord channels for your Thon team? Yep, we do. I do. Yeah. For Italy, yeah. <laughs> they're really, they're really a good place to um, talk, to chat, to get help, to keep encouraged, es especially this last few hours because everybody's tired, everybody's kind of exhausted, and needs that little boost besides coffee your friendships that you gain through your Thon team. So I highly encourage everybody to reach out to their Discord if you have. Okay, you guys ready for some fun? Yes. Okay, so last night sure. of, for Midnight Madness on Thons, we usually do have you ever, my guests here, do not know the questions just like mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. So the first few ones, just raise your hand. They're pretty easy, pretty simple. And then the second group, are going to be bio builder questions and you never know what those questions will be. So the first group and everybody, please, please give us your answers in chat because we love seeing your answers. So the very first one, these are kind of related to the thon have, and this is a question from the last thon, but it was so good. Everybody loved it. I'm going to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thawed in the same clothes all weekend long for <laughs> I know. Well, you know, um, okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, Ruth. Not this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, may have yes, worn this. Like, I may have worn this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to my hand solo t shirt. Oh, my, one or two of the the videos yesterday. So I'm not wearing that today. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with you. I, I might have not called I come back. <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch the the um episodes I'm wearing the, last the, same two, shirt. the last two nights to find out if I'm wearing the same clothes or not. Yeah. This is I been not safe for work. This is not safe for work. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay. So, um, have you ever planned your vacation around a Wiki Tree Thon? Yeah. What Twitter. vacation? Yeah. What vacation? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I have. I have. And we do have a list. As the list is out there. So check with your Thon team. The list is out there. The next uh, Thon type event will be Wiki Games. And you will not be with the normal team that you're you're with mm -hmm. today or this weekend. Mm -hmm. You'll be assigned global members to your team. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this one came up in my particular uh, Thon team. And it also, with a slight modification, came up in my own house. So have you ever bought... New computer equipment just for WikiTree Thon. Oh, mm. Again, no, no. no. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> I will modify it for my own benefit. Have you ever bought a new office chair just for a thought? <laughs> <Yeah. mine's broke. laughs> no. no. But we were talking to, in the previous times, our uh, hangouts, they were talking about needing an extra monitor or something like that to make it mm. easier for the thought. Some people talked about how they needed a, a mouse other things that broke down and, and you need it. Okay, so moving on. Um, this one is kind of weird. I'll warn everybody now. But I hope everybody will let us know if this is them. Have you ever thawed with a parent who is also thawing? So who's got their mom or dad in there? And they're yeah, thawing with their them? own parent. No, they, I mean, my parents yeah. know both. My parents know about the thawing, but they don't really... <laughs> They're not active for these three years. <laughs> they just count on me to add all the stuff. And sometimes they'll come in and say, oh, did you add this person? I'm like, all right, fine, I'll add them. Give me your sources. That's you all are call. cracking me up in that I can't share some of these on there, but you guys are cracking me up here. Oh, I got to see some of these answers. <laughs> no, I, think I, saw, I think I said this a, a prior episode, but oh. my mother volunteered to go sit with me at the DMV but she says genealogy is too boring. She won't come on with me. But the DMV, the DMV she volunteered to come. <laughs> or fun. Uh, that's oh, funny. Okay, so it, um, the last thon related. Have you ever? Before we get into the bio builders, so have you ever bought too many thon snacks that you had leftovers? No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's never enough. Yeah, I don't think you can have too many. I, I know somebody said they had to um they had to wear clothes because they had to go get food. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Leftover what? What are we left over? Left what? <laughs> yeah, this definitely. is funny. Okay, so if you guys are ready, I think we lost Kathy. I think her computer went kaput violent. Okay, so these are questions. That could be ideas for you to put on your personal wiki tree profile. And we have a bio builders group. Mm -hmm. And thanks, Gabby, you're back. We have a bio builders group that works on improving bios, giving them more than just the birth and the death. And these are some questions that possibly you might want to include on your bio, mm -hmm. your personal profile. Interesting. So... The um, very first one, have you ever eaten whipped cream straight out of the can? Sure. <laughs> of course. Uh, yes. uh, well, does it count when you're on? Does it to you? Like, you know. just like, right, is it right in your mouth? Does, does, does that, does that yeah. count? People always ask, I don't know what to put in a biography. So, you know, there are <laughs> people. Well, have uh, you, ever you, should, you should have a category like uh, things I eat direct yes. from the bottle or the can. <laughs> You're right. Because, you know, we do talk about food all the time. Right. So <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Have you ever been on a blind date? Yes. Oh, no. Mm. No, I have not. Yeah. yeah. Long time ago. <laughs> I'm oh, waiting yeah. for somebody in chat to say, yes, they have, and they married that person. And then that would be great for their biography. But, um, yeah, but yeah, Wiki Tree is not e harmony. Says. So, yeah, Wiki Tree is not e harmony. So, I don't know. Huh? No, but that's how my you know, parents met. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, that's perfect for you know, the biography. For bio. I like this. Married too long to even remember. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, there we go. Yes, I met my husband through a singles magazine. That's great. I love this. <laughs> More than once. <laughs> blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever taken a spontaneous road trip with no destination in mind? You just got in the car and said you're going to go somewhere. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trip, yeah. 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 We've gotten in the car, just drove, went somewhere. See? Ended up in Maine. See? 
that would be like one day we just got in a car. That's something you could put on yeah. your biography. Um, it, I think after COVID, more people are doing that because with COVID, we were all stuck, you know, now we're like just get in the car and go somewhere. Um, have you ever screened during a scary movie? Because a oh, scary oh, movie oh, ever oh, yeah. get you to scream? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> No, I don't okay. understand. Which movie? I, 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 <laughs> well, yeah. Which movie? I mean, I really think when I watch Pet Cemetery, that movie just no. I do not like oh. Pet Cemetery. <laughs> no. Mine was Silence of the Lambs. That would just woof. I was screaming. Hello, Clarice. Would you like some fava beans and a shanty? I can't do that. I can't do Anthony Hopkins. I like this too. Um, um no. But have jumped. I agree with yeah. that. Um, I yeah. like hands. Close my eyes. I have done that as well. Um, I closed one eye. I closed one eye. Do you not I'm do not this with yeah, your yeah, fingers? No. <laughs> I'm not lucky. I'm not lucky. <laughs> I can do it. This is usually me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So since we're talking about movies, have you ever used someone else's Netflix password? No. Um, no. Anybody else's? See that yeah. ladder? <laughs> and it's kind of like, or have you ever uh, borrowed your Netflix password, given it to somebody? Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. Usually, I borrow mine to be yeah. honest. Oh, I, like <laughs> I like this. No, but anybody care to share? <laughs> uh, and I agree. It, right, I have to yeah, my sister too. I don't know. Plus. Yeah. And, and it looks like this is pretty common. My family uses mine too. So this is kind of common. My niece shared hers until I got my own. So. No to Netflix, which implies, Stephen, yes to something else, right? That could Disney, be it. Okay. Disney, Disney, Paramount Plus, HBO Max. I have all three, so, yeah. There's a, Okay. This one is based on the last 10 years. So think in the last 10 years only. Mm -hmm. Have you ever lived mm -hmm. without internet or a cell phone for more than a week? Yeah, no internet, power. no cell phone, no TV. Let me put that. No internet, no cell phone, no yeah. TV for a week. None. Yeah. Not no, even if one of her is walking by, you still see a TV. So none. Yeah. No. We lost, we lost power for like uh, mm -hmm. five days, a couple, like a couple weeks ago, yeah. and again a couple days ago. Yeah. You know, Actually, no. So I have to say, say no, because yeah. what my experience was over ten years ago. I was at oh, a jamboree, okay. scout jamboree. Oh, yeah. There's nothing. You probably are, you don't have cell or anything out there. Oh. And remember, this is in the last 10 years. Now, see, I'm still the generation. You know, the meme, um, when I was a child, I had to get up and go through, you know, several feet of shag carpet to get up to turn the TV channel. Mm -hmm. And we had that one channel that was um, all black movies, black and white movies mm -hmm. that you had to turn to. You know what I'm talking about, right, David? Yep. And, used, and the tinfoil on the on the rabbit. When, when I was a kid, we used <laughs> I, I, we used to go to my grandparents because they got black and white TV, and all we got was color. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but they got the UHF station that was all played all the old black and white shows. We didn't get UHF. And if you will, if, if you timed it right, you got all those scary B movies. <laughs> that mm -hmm. were going on. So this is funny. Next question uh, from Steven. Could you live without internet for a week? Not on okay. a thon weekend. No, nah, it's ah. much stuff I gotta do on the internet, so nope. Sorry. No internet for a week. No email, no internet, no Netflix, no wiki tree, no any of that. I like how Steven says he was remote control. Dad said, turn the channel. I got to admit it. <laughs> That's good for, for your bio. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. So it, this is a very serious one, and hopefully nobody will hear your answer for this one. Have you ever re-gifted a gift? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
I did. <laughs> and I <laughs> say what? Yes, but yes. I did. <laughs> okay, Vicky, yeah. what was it? <laughs> uh, just once. It was uh, some kind of wooden box that collects your uh how do you call it um the the thing that you put in a bottle of wine oh yeah 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 the corks the cork or the stopper the cork. Yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah it, it's a decorative box that you put your corks on but i didn't like it so i really gifted, gifted it, it. Well, yeah, <coughs> is absolutely gifted you know <laughs> definitely yeah. yes oh i like this Kristen. no but I would like to. <laughs> I don't know if we gifted anything. So, I, you know, I did get caught. I regifted. I didn't know that they expired. Apparently, they do. I regifted a gift card. I just thought they lived forever. And I was last oh. minute. I forgot to get a gift. So I wrapped it and gave them a gift. And they came back to me and they said, um, I think this was regifted because it's old or something like that. And I was like, they never expire. <laughs> and I accidentally <laughs> let the secret <laughs> out. <laughs> I like this. So, so I have unwrapped presents and thought, oh, yeah, this is going to go to somebody else <laughs> before it's open. <laughs> but it, <laughs> okay. So have you ever used a pickup line? Yes. Um, no. I'm not gonna oh. say what it is. I'm not gonna say what it was. I, I was gonna know. ask you, Chris, what was it? And then my second, my second question is, did you get it work? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it live. <laughs> See, because again, I'm hoping somebody says yes, I did, and we got married. Another way to improve your biography. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, well, Amanda. Just, we well, well, I, I will say. I will say this. I will say this. Hey, baby, did it hurt? <laughs> it what hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amanda, I think we got the cheesy one. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it wasn't that. <laughs> I like that. It was I. It a D and D theme one, and no, it didn't work. But I got people to laugh, and I think that's what Chris was got. <laughs> yeah. I used a pickup line to be funny, not to get a date, and I know people that do that. And that is funny too. I love that. Mm -hmm. Um. So, Chris. Yeah. Are you married? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, Art, thank you. Yes, and it was successful years ago. This is exactly the answer I was looking for. This is a great <laughs> bio builder line. So uh, what was the, what was the line? What was the line, Art? Oh, tell me now. Know, Art, you gotta yeah. tell us what the line is. I wanna write I wanna write it down. <laughs> okay, well, Art, Art is going to share with us, I hope, Art is over this, that let's change it over to something a little bit different. Have you ever lost something valuable and never found it? Oh, yes. Yes. <sighs> yes, okay. I have. What was it? A hearing aid. Oh, yeah. Hearing aid. That's yeah, I start. lost my engagement. I no. lost my engagement ring. No. Oh. I think oh, I threw no. it. I threw it in the garbage. Oh. Accidentally. Art <laughs> Did you Art get married remember. to the person who gave you the ring? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we it's were, all good. We <laughs> yeah, it was an accident. It's all good. <sighs> I was gonna say, mm. did you throw it away on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, uh. in Rosemary, this was a very common answer to this question. Their high school ring, their high school graduation yeah. ring, was a very common. Mine disappeared. I still have mine. So. Mine disappeared as well. I have no. I have clue. no idea where it could have gone. Yeah. I, have, I have both my high school and college rings in my drawer over there. So there you go. And there we go. We've got another one that lost a. a a diamond ring. Like a, a diamond. There's like a pile of diamond rings somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah. This is funny. And then I like Stevens. I lost my mind. It's my mind. valuable. I can tell you by um, you know, 8 a.m. in the morning, if 
for those of us that are staying up all night, we will have lost our mind a little bit too. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is heartbreaking. Yes, but more personally valuable. Lost a handmade quilt from great grandma. That is that oh. heartbreaking. That is very heartbreaking. And then here's yeah. another one. Lost his college ring and his wedding band. Seems like rings oh. are um, rings and little things. Like the earrings or rings are the ones that are getting lost uh, oh no oh, I, I got it i got it i have a good Only one I have, that she yeah, had of her great grandparents yeah i have a good one um my mom lost an earring through no fault of her own we went at this hotel that was said to be haunted by a ghost and she was walking down the staircase she felt something flick her ear the earring fell out and she couldn't find it ever since and she never found it yeah and apparently the ghost was very jealous of ladies who looked better than the, she did because she was incredibly vain and she'd like to change her clothes to make herself look better than anybody else. She has a profile on WikiTree. Look up uh, Caroline <laughs> Foster. Wait, who has a profile on WikiTree? I know. The ghost? The ghost? Yeah, the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, made, I made a profile for her. Yeah. Well, you know, we the don't have living uh, people, so I guess the ghost. <laughs> she was the, uh, yeah, she was the ghost of the Mount Washington Hotel. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let me um, move on. This one is a very odd one. Now let's see who admits this. Have you ever fallen in love with a fictional character? You know what? Even as a kid who had those posters on their wall or something. No, oh God. Uh, uh, well, we're going to have to have a question like a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Indiana Jones. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Forever. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who did come on? Who didn't like Sarah Michelle Gellar and Buffy? Come on, she was uh, pretty, you know. I mean, with all the, no. the comic and the Marvel, nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, some okay, fun. here's a good answer. In love, no, obsessed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And yeah. there we go, girls. Absolutely yes. Now, Carol, you can't give me that answer. Not tell me who. Pebbles went <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Isn't oh, that well, the part of seeing hot? If someone has a thing for both. if Steve has a thing for Pebbles, does that mean we have to report him to? Uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, we're the same age, you know, around the same yeah. time. Okay, okay, no. okay. Uh, Steve, this is important. Is it adult Pebbles or baby Pebbles? <laughs> answer, answer correctly, or we'll and have to report you. Gotta you tell us who. You can't just say, "Oh yes," you got to tell us who. I figured somebody would say yes from some of these um, movies, the old movies, or some of the TV shows that we would have. Okay, so here's a question for you guys. And You're not going to let me say mine? Yeah, I didn't hear you. Go. Go. Johnny Depp from 21 Jump Street. Uh, yeah, I would yeah. pick Pirates of the Caribbean for him. <laughs> There's no. no. Well, yes, Pirates, yes. But the very first one was 21 Jump Street. Yeah, uh, I watched that. Nah. Then I'll Pirates. I'll let you have them. Well, then pirates. Okay, this would be a really great one for biography builder because you can expand on this. Have you ever sang karaoke? Yep. Sure. What did you sing? Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, what did I sing? Well, I did the YMCA and did the actions and you yeah. know <laughs> winning a prize. Which, oh, wow. Yes. Unfortunately, all the good karaoke bars are gone now. I got the squad and crush your juice, right? I think so. most people, um, I think when they started having the machines so inexpensive that you could bring them home and have them home, you don't see a lot of them out anymore. But I, I know we used to go to a karaoke um, by the beach when I lived in Maryland, and you would get some of the best, you know, people that were just in a band just out there wanting to go and and sing. It was great. So I love this. And if you guys did sing at karaoke, then we are expecting you to tell us what song that you would sing. I, and I agree. And I um, I don't even sing anywhere because you wouldn't like it. If I, you definitely would not enjoy it. 
I but can't I, really, I, yeah, I can't say I can't really sing. So, uh, but I did do rock band with my nephews, and they left me in the middle of the song while I was trying to do rock band. Like right on, right on stage, I was doing my thing, and he just like dished me, like like dude. <laughs> now this is impressive. Shonda started with Whitney and ended with Celine. She's hitting those high notes. That's yeah. Kind of impressive. That's right. Do you there count the one Disney do do sing-alongs? That maybe that's what we should have: hang out sing-alongs. <laughs> Skater boy. <laughs> I love the Partridge family. <laughs> I love that. So I'm glad somebody said that. May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. That's a really old one, too. Okay. So, um, yes, John, you win. You win the comment of the entire show. You win. So, yes, Country Rose. We'll, we, will, um, we will go with that. Okay. So have you ever snooped? Into someone else's stuff? Yes. No, of course not. That would, that would be unethical. I 1000% snooped in my mother's stuff. <laughs> that, that would be oh, unethical. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. What about you guys? Darren, David, have you ever snooped even as a kid? Yeah. Why, why, would I, why would I do that? No. You know, I oh, once <laughs> went out with a, this was many, many years ago. I went out with the girl and went to her apartment and used the restroom and the shower <laughs> curtain was closed. And for whatever reason, I decided to peek and it was the most grungy bathtub I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, and it wow, ruined it. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was all so faulty. And I, you and out, I, you and I don't snoop anymore because I, gotta... I don't want to know. You're like, I got to go I have an go. early appointment <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Never look at never look at somebody's bathtub. That was your own fault. Okay. No, I, I know I learned my lesson. I yeah. Don't you look behind the curtain. I don't know. I would say you learned your lesson, and you said from now well, on, I better snoop. <laughs> okay, okay. I, 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 oh, I got a, I got a good one. I got I got a good one. Um, one time I went to my parents' medical journal. They were both doctors. Both doctors. One of them was a dentist. One of them worked with blood. I checked out the medical journal when you're like six years old. You see all these graphic, gross images. It just kind of sticks in your mind. It makes you not want to be a doctor ever. It's just like all these <laughs> gross. Ugh. It was nasty. I tell you, I, I used to snoop. My, my mom had this um, really old, hard sided Samsonite suitcase that she kept all important papers in. And as a kid, what's important? When you tell me, do not go in here ever, that's important. So, yep. of course, I'd go in there to go look, and it was completely boring. But I would do it all the time. And she's like, did you move that? Yeah. Somebody moved that. Were you snooping? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> no problem saying it. Okay. So, guys, two more questions before we end this fun midnight madness. And we'll do the um, drawing for the prize. Remember, the word is bingo. Type in bingo if you haven't already. And so two more questions, eight pretty fun questions. Have you ever met somebody famous? Yeah, well, yeah. And bonus points if you have a picture of it to put on your bio. Yeah. I no, I have I have not met anyone famous, but but I have gotten uh Stan Lee uh to talk to me directly. A friend of mine went to uh Comic Con in Miami and she awesome. and her husband went to uh, this restaurant. He was like eating and stuff. And he's like, they got the camera. I was like, hey, can you see a message to my friend Chris? Stan being Stanley, like, sure thing, true believers. And he just like, hey, Chris, you know, you're just really awesome. You know, it's like a personalized message. I hope you're doing well with all you're doing. You know, Excelsior. I am just like, you know, being a boy so hard. So I guess, you know, Stanley's awesome. Enough said. Mm. Yeah. Great. I will tell you. Um, I don't know, Christine. You this might be the winner too. How do you meet Kate Hudson at a crackle barrel? I mean, how as awesome as that. Yeah. I once had um Thanksgiving dinner at Ed McMahon's house. And, oh, that's cool. And when I walked in, he said, 
here's David. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> he Are you did. serious? Yep. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Is that in your bio? China was in a China was in a movie with Whoopi Goldberg. What movie? What? Awesome. Yeah, you gotta say one movie. Yeah, Whoever yeah. Doesn't trigger. Yeah, we'll find you in a movie. Oh, I saw I saw <laughs> Trigger, but he was dead at the time. Oh, <laughs> and man, Leonard Nimoy. I'm jealous. Stuffed in the museum. <laughs> and man, Leonard yeah. Nimoy. Jealous. <laughs> there you go. Several yeah. Green Bay Packers. Yeah, when I was, oh, year, year 12, there was a movie filmed at my school. So, so we had all the New Zealand celebrities. So got to meet quite a few of them. Yes, and my mum my bought the DVD of the movie, and like I can be seen like two or three times. Really? Yeah. Do you, still, you still have it, right? Uh. Yeah, my my daughter's half the movie. Did you have oh, Did you have any photos as well? Did they take photos while you're there? Uh, this was back in oh, oh, 1994, so like no cell phone photos. Oh, this is cool. cool. John Wayne a couple times. A couple of times. John That's Wayne. pretty cool. Wow. So who knew? All of you have met so many yeah. famous people. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, Carol, this is pretty cool. Hank Aaron. That's pretty uh, cool, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Was greeted by then Prince Charles. Uh, that's pretty cute. Okay, so last question. This one's such an easy one. And I was not going to put this question in, but I decided after watching the Hangout the last two times, and Chris was there as well, I decided to put this in because I thought, you know what, since you all brought it up and Sandy didn't bring it up, I thought I might as well bring it up too. How am I going to bring it up? With a have you ever question. So have you ever drank moonshine? Oh, what's moonshine? <laughs> I have <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> and it's Paul. So moonshine uh, back way back in the day was something that was made with a still a, a very um, hardcore alcohol back in the woods that wasn't taxed, wasn't processed through the government or anything oh. like that. And um, now it's alcohol was trendy. Illegal. Yeah, it, and extremely flammable. Once yeah, all proven. it will like seriously burn the real moonshine will seriously burn your throat and and kill your taste buds for at least two weeks but um now it's become trendy and they have flavors don't so. put a match near it boom mm. yeah I but yes I, yes i, I, I have, have it. <laughs> I, I i can honestly yeah. say i can honestly say i've never had moonshine in my life like ever Oh, no. Chris, we're gonna we're gonna have to fix this. See, it Carol drank it from the still, <sighs> and Carol's still here, and Carol's a nurse, so see, it must be okay. And, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I will tell you that we, you know, I I have seen Aaron <laughs> actually drink the moonshine and eat mm -hmm. the pickles. I have seen that, so I yep. I'm her proof that she has pickle moonshine in her house. And it is, if you like pickles, trust me, it is good. So, and I, yeah, sure. I think this counts too, the grandfather's cherry brandy, because usually when that's made, that's kind of, um, you know, made in a bucket, usually. I think some people make them in Homer buckets now. I think the closest thing I've ever had to moonshine, me, it might have been uh, my dad's friend Carl made his own wine, and it was really strong. That's cool. Like, yeah. And it's like pink. He's Italian. He was anyway. He it was a, so strong. You peel the paint off the walls. It was like. <laughs> and and I gotta know what um, moose drool. I'm a little worried. I I don't I don't <laughs> know if I could do that. I'm not quite sure about that. It it is. What well, is uh, an Appalachian thing? It kind of came yeah. out of there. The Scots really liked it when they came over because they needed um, their whiskey. They needed to do that. So this is kind of cool too. So college students, uh, college buddies, made wine under their dorm beds. <laughs> yeah. So that's about it. So 
Anybody have any questions for us? This is going to be the last midnight hangout. You've got another one in a couple hours, about, uh, let's say about three and a half, three hours, 20 minutes. And then you've got the final one at 8 a.m. Eastern time that will wrap everything up. They'll bring everything together and wrap everything up. You guys hanging out all night or are you guys going to sleep after this? I'm going to bed. How about you guys? <laughs> I've got a couple to hours to go, but not all night. I was going to say, David and I, and Kathy, we tend to be the night owls. We'll probably say, and Darren, it's early for you, right? Not that early. It's nearly, nearly 5 p.m. here. Oh, is it? So yeah. you, you could hang out all night, too, <laughs> for, yeah. for the end. So thanks, everybody, for joining us, and let's do the prize. Everybody ready? Now, I need to say, if you have won a prize in the last six months, whether it's bingo or these hangouts, uh, and you already put your word in, you already entered it, and you know you've won, could you please let us know? Because that means you're ineligible to win again, and that gives somebody else a chance to win. Also, if you won at the last thon, which was a source of thon, you're not eligible to win at this thon just to make things fair and to share the love and the merchandise. So if you know you've already won in the past six months and your name comes up or, or the last line, let us know. Kathy also has a list, so um, Kathy will let us know too. Here we go, guys. So let's see, let's see who gets it. D. D, D, let's check. D, did you win at Bingo by chance? Or Kathy's got our list. Let's double check. Yes, Bingo January 20. Yep. Bingo oh. January 2024. Okay, D, I'm oh. so sorry that you since you've already won a prize in the past six months. Um, I need to draw again. But thank you for playing and thank you for being here. I I D and I yeah. are Georgia buddies. So let me draw again. And let's see who gets it. And thanks, Kathy, for having the list. Huh. Amanda. Amanda. Yay. What do you think, Kathy? Congrats. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Kathy? I'm not seeing that, see that name. No. Yay. Oh. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. Thanks for um, playing. And Amanda, what's going to happen is a one's going to get in touch with you and she'll let you know what the prize is. We don't really know what the prize is, I don't think, right? The prize is a surprise still. So she'll get in touch with you and let you know what to choose from. I do believe you get to choose from a couple of different items. And thank you all for being here. Thank you guys for being co-hosts with me. And thanks everybody for playing along. And I guess we will see you next time. Sound about right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's yeah. we can beat yeah. those yeah. numbers. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Thanks for playing. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>